Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tot, and I'm back with another video. Video, hey guys! I know it's been a minute. The last video I did was some coquito, and I haven't been vlogging. I'm really like trying to enjoy the Christmas season, and also like you know, I don't know, take a break from vlogging, focus on some other things, and yeah. But 2020, I will be back with the heat. I'm coming with new content, new setup, new everything. I'm right now I'm on my phone because I'm gonna use it for the rest of, let me turn this down. I'm gonna use it for the rest of the day because I don't wanna bring no camera with me. I don't wanna be um, responsible for any camera. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I'm all dressed up. Sorry for the mess in the back because y'all yeah, know yesterday was Christmas. Today is the first day of Kwanzaa and I'm all dressed up because I'm going to Kwanzaa Crawl. If you don't know, I did a couple of videos on my channel doing Kwanzaa Crawl. I think the past two years I did that. Um, if not, then I know definitely last year and I'll put it in the eye above me. And yeah, I'm doing Kwanzaa Crawl again this year with some of my friends who are um, hosting a group. Um, and yeah. Uh, they switched up the rules and everything. So we got our wristbands already. Um, I think I got them on Sunday or Saturday. I think it was Sunday. Yeah, I got my wristband on Sunday. And today, like, it's no, none of confusion like last year with all the long lines and everything. So right now we about to go to the meetup spot. I wasn't going to go to the meetup spot because I'm like, uh, whatever. Like, they don't be doing nothing there. Like, the real fun happens when you get to the spot to the first like location and um i already have my band so we might as well go to the first location but the first location is literally two blocks up from the meetup spot so i'm like might as well just go with the group and everything so um right now i'm waiting on tay um and so we could hop on the train and walk over to the meetup spot um details on what i'm wearing because it's, it's not really that cold but like it's a little warm uh, it's a little breezy out there so and i know it's gonna get like colder as it gets dark so i have some gloves this hat is from asos i believe um top it's like a sweater dress um this is from h&m i think the pants are h&m as well and sorry my boots sorry if you can't see them my boots are from zara and yeah and i'm wearing this oh god jesus this little coat from um h and as well so yeah nothing big like i ain't i ain't popping out you know i ain't doing all of that just kind of simple and cute make sure i stay warm and all of that so i want to take you guys along with me today i hope you like this vlog don't forget to comment like and subscribe to this channel um shout out to all the new people my name is Todd. I'm from Brooklyn. Hey, hey, what's up? This is my channel. Um, welcome if you're new. If you're not new, what's good? What's poppin'? Um, don't forget to comment down below, even if you owe. Because I haven't been on here and I haven't been talking to none of y'all. So, comment down below. Um, let's see what's a comment. What did you get for Christmas or how did you spend your holiday season? Comment down below. I know... We still have another holiday coming up like next week which is um new year's eve but um people don't usually do stuff on new year's eve like that anymore like i'm over the partying and going out stuff like i'm over that i really am i just want to like travel so next year i'm gonna make it my why am i out of breath next year i'm really gonna make it my business to like either travel for christmas or new year's something like that I'm tired of New York City for like the holidays. I feel like Christmas and all these stuff are for the kids. Like when you're an adult, like yeah, you get a little gifts here and there, but like it's okay. It gets, then after that, it's like eh, you don't got no toys to play with, nothing. So you're like, okay, there's nothing to do. So yeah, Christmas become is becoming like a regular day for um adults or for me. 
personally it's like oh it's christmas that's how i felt this year so um yeah so next year i'm gonna really try and um go on vacation for the holidays yeah so i'll see you guys when i link up with tay and we are or yeah I'm going to see y'all when I link up with Tay. Oh, she just texted me, so I'm about to head out. All right, later, y'all. So I met up with Tay. Hey, y'all. We about to walk to um, the meetup spot. And yeah, we'll see you guys when we hit the meetup spot. <laughs> later. <laughs> everything with a libation giving honor to the ancestors who came before us so we're going to start with um a libation and calling out the names of folks who may have been with us last year who are not with us now and after each pouring we say ashe ashe so you can call out aretha franklin ashe. malcolm x ashe. tony morrison ashe Maya Angelo. Diane Carroll. Diane Carroll, Ashe. Ashe. Elijah Cummings. Elijah Cummings. Someone said Queen, I'm sorry, said Nipsey, Nipsey Hussle, Ashe. Ashe. John Witherspoon. John Witherspoon, Ashe. Ashe. And to all of those who are no longer with us, we pay homage, Ashe. Ashe. And, to, and that means what? Unity. Unity, we all are galvanizing today to spread unity throughout our community. So the next one for tomorrow, day two, we're gonna light the red, the furthest, is what? Kuji Chagalia, what does that mean? Self-determination. Self-determination. That's your favorite? I like Kuji Chagalia as well. Day three is? Ujima. <laughs> yes, collective work and responsibility. None of us can do anything in the, without one another. Next, the fourth day is Ujama. What is Ujama? And y'all got y'all mad woke today. Everybody in here, y'all dress real woke. So y'all spending y'all black y'all money in black businesses. Uh, next day is Nia, which is purpose, being intentional about how we live and how we get together. The next day is, day six is Kaumba. And what is Kaumba? And y'all, all dressed, head crafts, everybody looking good. A lot of creative energy here. How many of y'all entrepreneurs? Okay, so y'all out here networking. Okay. And day seven is what? Imani, and Imani means faith. Everything that we do as people of color, Regardless of what entity you serve, we do things in a spiritual way.
in here. You can't even see what's going on. Sorry, welcome back. Um, I wanted to end off the vlog. Um, yeah, I wanted to end off the vlog. So, um, because it got too lit. It's a couple of days. Sorry if my energy is low. I have like a little itchy throat. So I feel like a cold is coming on. So sorry if my energy is low. <clears throat> but it's like a few days from the Kwanzaa crawl. And it was lit. Like so lit. So basically I wanted to come on here and explain what the Kwanzaa crawl is. And um uh what else i want to do like tell you like the process of getting the ticket and um i don't remember the name of the places that we went to but i'll list them down below or at the end of the video whatever one i choose um but and also i will list the uh website where they have all the information you need to know about kwanzaa crawl so kwanzaa crawl is basically a bar crawl um, the day after Christmas, which is the first day of Kwanzaa. Um, these two black girls from Brooklyn, they started this whole thing with a bar crawl with only black owned businesses around Brooklyn and Harlem. They have two crawls and it's around Brooklyn and Harlem. Um, I feel like they have over 30 or 40 teams in Brooklyn and I think like three teams in Harlem. Something like that um this is a time to support our people and also have a good time so that's basically what kwanzaa crawl is about um just a bar crawl but it's quan it's called kwanzaa crawl because it's a day after christmas which is the first day of kwanzaa and also we're supporting black owned businesses and yeah um um so when i met up with tay as y'all saw in the video we went up to our meetup spot and we went over the um days of the kwanzaa days of kwanzaa and um also uh we did um a libation pouring for our ancestors which they do in african culture when i went to africa they did the same thing as well um and it's just like respect to our ancestors and those who died this year and stuff like that um what else Oh, they sang the national anthem, um, African-American anthem. Um, and what else did we do? And then we were starting the bar crawl. So um, we went to four spots. And at first, everybody's like, four spots? Da, da, da. But you spend an hour and 30 minutes, sometimes two hours at certain places. And sometimes you're not only with your group, you're also with another group because the spot is so big. So you can, you know, get to know the people in the other groups, not only your groups. Um, what I will say is that if you're trying to, um, if you're trying to, whatchamacallit, if you're trying to be with your friends and stuff, be all in one group because you're not going to see your friends. Nine times out of ten, probably eight times out of ten, I want to say. You're not going to see your friends. You're not going to see who's in what group. You don't know. So make sure you all like pick the same group and stuff like that what else um oh how it was so um my friends they um this is all over the place because i'm so distracted so my friends they um they were hosting a group they told us the group that they were hosting and um they uh told us like to sign up and pick that group so once we signed up and we picked that group then um we met up at the spot that you guys saw me meet up at where they did all the ceremony and then what else we did then we went to our first stop the first stop we spent like probably an hour and 30 minutes and that was a spot where basically people who didn't go to the to the main meetup spot um to like meet up with us there so we got there and then the group got bigger because you know a lot of people were already a lot of people were just coming in so we got to that spot and then we stayed there party you know have some drinks 
and um because it's kwanzaa crawl these businesses they don't have full price stuff because they already know that you already paid for a ticket and they want to accommodate you and but they also want money too so they give us um you know discounted drinks so like say somebody got a henny and coke it was like about seven dollars compared to some something like that will be like 12 14 dollars on a regular day you know what i'm saying so they really like showed love with the prices and they also have food at certain spots um so yeah then we went to another then we walked to another spot like the because some of the places were a little 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 far but it wasn't too bad because like we were in a group we was playing music and all kind of stuff so we went to all four places um and it ended around well it didn't really end people was just tired and wanted to go home so um that was about like 9 30 i want to say and we started around well we got to the meetup spot at two and we didn't leave till like minutes to 3 30 4 o'clock something like that and um yeah because we were waiting for people to link up and then we were they had the ceremony so yeah so from basically from 4 to 9 30 we was crawling and um yeah it was a good time um i like this year so much better this year we um paid for the tickets online of course and like last year but what was different is that they had an early pickup time so we didn't have to go to the venue and get our tickets so this was so much better because last year all the lines and everything was just a hot mess so we got our wristbands and they give you a cup and like a book with all their sponsors and what kwanzaa crawl kwanzaa crawl is all about why my lips look so white what the hell i'm so sick guys um yeah what kwanzaa crawl was all about and stuff like that all the information you need to know um like what time they get there and stuff like that so um <coughs> yeah we got our tickets and everything early which i liked and it was just a good 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 time so if you would like to join me next year i'm not sure where i'll be next year but if i happen to do it again um i'll let you guys know as the time get closer is usually the day after kwanzaa um and then that's the day after i'm sorry the day after christmas which is the first day of kwanzaa um and yeah so december 26 2020 if you can make it and i don't know like if i'm not here i'll still let you guys know um when everything is coming out usually the tickets come out on sale like black friday um but they give you a chance thank god my group well it depends what group you want to be in there's a lot of groups that's like in the flat downtown brooklyn area that they sold out like the minute they they put them out because like they have a lot of popular bars there so um thank god my group didn't sell out so so fast so i was able to wait um a couple of weeks after um black friday to get my ticket but yeah if I don't go, I'll still let you guys know when the tickets are going to be out and if whoever's going to be here and if my people is going to um, do a group again or whatever, I'll put y'all guys on. Um, y'all know I always do. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.